Hello, this is Julie. Welcome to the Thrifty Paper Garden. Well, I have been doing some thrifting and garage sailing as I enjoy doing, and as the season is winding down, I am trying to get out there as much as I can, and with the holiday season coming and gift giving, I just want to update you quick um, about my free box items. I have sold a couple and I just sent out today the Wilton cake pillars that I found in a free box. They're about 16 pieces and I just took a best offer for those for 13 bucks and buyer paid shipping. So I've been doing pretty well here and there. I've been taking some best offers which is of course a new experience but in the last week or so I guess I went to a senior center and I love going there because there are older people trying to get rid of their old junk and I will more than happy to go through their old junk. I also go, went to a church garage sale and you know I love my church garage sales and this was a free will offering garage sale. So I just loaded up and figured out a fair price and threw it in their bucket and we were both happy. Okay, so these are in no particular order and some things I've already listed and put away, so I'm sorry, I have been kind of on a listing frenzy and wanting to get those things out there and put away in my storeroom. So I found some antique puzzles and they, you know, as far as selling, they some sell, some don't, but this was just too precious. I don't know that I've seen many old puzzles and I was trying not to get the real big ones that are difficult to ship just real real fun and in most of the boxes a piece of paper that say if they are all the pieces are there Saturday evening post they had several puzzles in this edition and Madam Alexander dolls. I enjoy collecting those. McDonald's came out in the Happy Meal with Madam Alexander dolls, and I don't go to McDonald's much, but I was able to collect some of those dolls. So those are the puzzles. And then I found this mini tiered cake pan set, and it, it was taped shut. So I asked the lady at the sale, may I open it up? And this is what I found. There are two sets of three of varying sizes and you would tear those up. And um, then a cake decorator. Now I have taken cake decorating classes. I'm by no means all that good, but I just thought these would be very fun to play with. So if they don't sell, I will definitely keep them. But um, they seem to sell, and they sell pretty well. I think about going or eight is about $20. So that was nice. And then I found these new in the box. No working parts. You just throw these slippers in the microwave, heat them up with cold weather coming. They're kind of a dime a dozen, but um, it would be a, a quick sell and easy to ship no breakable pieces and I found some photography books all about focusing filters and portraits and all I could find on eBay were coming from the United Kingdom so I couldn't really you know American people might not buy them from the UK my husband looked at them and they were published in the UK so that's why they're being sold from the UK so um, I'm not really sure how to list these I suppose they could be fairly desirable um, might do them as a set or separately I'm not quite sure yet and then I thought this was kind of a neat a Kodak master darkroom data guide and it has some neat pages and it has a little color dial thing um, there's a fair amount on eBay and they don't sell real well, but I just thought that was interesting. And then, build a human skeleton. And this is out of 
like a thin cardboard material and um, so I'm going to have to look more into this. This was kind of an interesting sale. Some co-workers were getting together to raise some money and they were just challenging e each other to bring some stuff together and sell it and I think they were having a very successful sale. Found some shoes. These are earth shoes, my size, kind of fancy. Um, they could do well. And then I found Stag Hill and these have very little wear on them and they're a size 11. So I found a few of those selling on eBay you know, fairly well. And then I saw these and I just thought they were overshoes but they had the tag so I looked at them. These are steel toed overshoes and these are expensive and they are heavy and I was trying to fit them in a flat rate um, padded envelope and it takes a lot of uh, muscle in, in um, little creative thinking and that brings me to when you're trying to slip something into the padded flat rate envelope to put the item in a, a bag, plastic bag first they slipped in so much easier and that also brings me to poly mailers. I have heard about poly mailers. I joined up for Amazon Prime because they were having that sale that one day and immediately ordered poly mailers. They have been so wonderful. So if you are selling on eBay and do not have poly mailers, they are worth the price. I got I'm not sure exactly what the size, 10 by 12 or so, and they, they only come out to about 8 cents a piece, and they have been wonderful. So then I found some Harley Davidson women's shirts. I found a bunch of smalls and a bunch of mediums, and they some of them have different uh, locations. I guess people collect the different locations, but um, some nice shirts, so I probably will put them in a lot. Again, I have to do some more research to see how the best way to use those up. And I saw this bucket full of spoons and I looked at a few and they looked kind of interesting. And they were selling for a dollar a piece, but I saw this sticker that said set five dollars and I didn't know if it was a misplaced sticker so I asked at the sale and they said yeah if you want them all you can have them for five dollars well I figured it would just be fun to play with them and to research them and just see what I've got so um, yeah some of them I was able to bring right up and are selling pretty well and then some I have no clue one thing that caught my attention and this still has has a tag on it. I don't know if that is ivory, some kind of bone. Um, it says Dansk, D-A-N-S-K on it, Delft. And I was trying to use a translator. The only thing I could translate on there is, uh, has a word on here that means stainless. So I assume stainless steel. So that is interesting. This one is a 1938 La Rose um, yeah, replacement it's worth about ten dollars so if someone were looking for a replacement piece the fancy little edges on there make it a sugar spoon I'm just learning so much this is a toddle time little baby spoon Anita and again that's about a um, fourteen dollar replacement value on the websites that sell replacements and so there's just some really neat I like the ones this happens to be a space shuttle with the little hanging charms on it. They're all in nice, very nice condition. So nothing, as far as I can tell, real stellar, but it would be nice little easy cells, very easy to pack up. So I just thought I'd give those a try. If you know anything about these collectible souvenir uh, spoons, please let me know. And I have some crocheted yarn here and that can do fairly well so I figured for my 50 cent investment I would pick those up 
And then I found purses. I don't know. I will try. And I love purses, so most of these I wouldn't mind keeping. I certainly don't need them. But I'll just try to go through this quickly. This is a relic. All these are in very nice shape. Very pretty. Nice for the fall. Let's see, this is a fossil. This is, uh, says it's coach. I assume that's a legitimate one and not counterfeit. Here's a nice relic. The only thing wrong with it is it has a little wear right there. But maybe I could add a little um, stain, wood stain, and take care of that. This just looked like nice quality. I'd never heard of muck. Mawowski, but I looked it up and they're fairly good sellers. I found a cute little Dooney and Burke wristlet. Vera Bradley, I almost passed this by because it just looks like a, you know, an inexpensive little mesh um, beach bag, but these actually go fairly well and this pattern happens to be uh, fairly rare to find. So I have a couple watchers on that. And then I think my potential find. I just saw this and it smells of sweet, beautiful leather. It is just wonderful. In the back side, it says, you can see it, America, American West. And it has these handles, and it has a long, like, crossbody handle. It has, um, I mean, everything about it just speaks quality. It's got this uh, wonderful charm that's printed on both sides. It just, it just looked really nice. And asking price was about ten dollars I looked this up and th I believe this is an old style so it's not on their catalog anymore but big totes like this would run up to three hundred dollars um, I put it at 99 I wasn't really sure there's some out there that knew with tags so I decided to go with 99 and I have about three or four watchers on this beautiful bag and again I would not be sad if it doesn't sell it is beautiful so I was very pleased to find that so that was a long video I'm sorry about that but I was just trying to combine some things together and as garage sale season winds down um, I gotta get to listing and just enjoying the fall and winter season. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.